And welcome to the Hinge Games live stream. Whoa, smooth. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Say hi, Jacques. Hi, hi, Jacques. <laughs> <laughs> That's Jacques Joy, our artistic director. I'm Bjorn Swenson, the creative director slash all the non-art related stuff mostly. Yeah. Uh, so today, and we got Phil here. One of the Phils here. Hey. <laughs> hey, Phil. So today we're going to talk about some story stuff. Uh, I could talk about that for a bit. We could go into some of the things I've been working on. Uh, I did a few minor things, but that should help out a bit, like undo and redo. So we'll look at that in the puzzle builder. Uh, but yeah, I guess we'll go into stories. Let's see if I go continue. So for the story stuff, uh, basically we have these tombs that... Uh, or tomes, not tombs, tomes. I might get that confused. It's a very similar words. I know the difference. I know a tomb <laughs> is a place where you store a dead body, and a to store a dead body like you're gonna get like like it's leftovers, and you're gonna go pick some up later. So a tomb is where you put a dead body, and a tome is a book. I know the difference. Just like, just like my favorite game, Tome Raider. Tome Raider, yeah, I worked on that game. <laughs> <laughs> she she reads a lot of books. Come on. Takes place in a library. <laughs> <laughs> yep, exactly. Oh, I did let I left my tea. Yeah, we don't have my tea on me right now. I'm like, yeah, I'll be fine. Anyway, so you collect. Uh, we have all these tomes that kind of tell stories of some characters you meet and kind of delves into some of their mythology. So we have like five different worlds. Over the last month, I've been doing a ton of research into like Babylonian mythology and wrote up a bunch of stories for that and then did a bunch of research on Norse mythology which was a lot easier because there's a lot of names that I like I'm not as familiar with uh, uh, Mesopotamian and uh, Babylonian mythology and it's a lot of like there's Gilgamesh we've all heard of Gilgamesh and the epic of Gilgamesh but there's a lot of other names that are like uh, like not as recognizable and it's it's one of those things like with Norse mythology it's a lot more uh, like people with pop culture it's a lot more familiar with like all the characters and stuff like that so like when i say odin it's like you already have an idea of odin and who he is and where he ranks in the hierarchy and his relation to everybody else but when i say get, like uh... inanna not a lot of people or you can see here like it says enki yeah. or actually you can't see it says enki it says enki behind shock's head but that's okay <laughs> <laughs> but basically it's like nobody knows who that is and i just have this line that he he made there's sure a, there was a, cake and drinks for Inanna. Yeah. There's a, there's not enough heavy metal bands named after these characters is what it is. There's enough named oh, after probably. those mythology characters, but yeah. there's none named after the That's the it. That's ones. definitely it. Yeah. But, uh, Gilgamesh! Gilgamesh, yeah. Why isn't there a heavy metal band named Gilgamesh? Uh, there, there might be. Probably is. Uh, but basically... So what you do is you go through all the different areas, and Jack's been playing through the game. Because we need to get... I can speedrun it in about four hours. He's at about eight hours going through the first two worlds. And he's not done the first world, so... Or the second world, so... Uh, well, it's just the boss fight, so... Just the boss fight. Yeah, but that, that means out. you gotta grind, or you gotta figure out how to beat him. <laughs> You've all been <laughs> stuck hit. on a boss fight for a long time. <laughs> I yeah. guarantee you, you will not be able to beat him in one hit. <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> he's not built that way. <laughs> uh, okay, <laughs> not gonna give away spoilers or hints on how to beat any of the bosses in these streams but uh yeah so where was i as you explore all these different areas you're gonna find all these pages of tomes and when you collect up pages for the tome you get like uh, you can see here this one and a goddess of wisdom gives you x percentage knockback which is uh you have a chance of like knocking enemies back and like stunning them for a bit and then all of them like they're only ones to give you bonuses to experience and like gold or damage and things like that but the more pages you collect there's 20 pages for each tome and the more pages you collect the bigger the bonus you get and if you want like i only have three of 20 for this one and if i try and use it you need at least five pages and so what i'm doing right now is i'm going through and writing all the stories all the sentences because basically it's going to break the way it breaks down is there's 20 pages each uh, page is going to have one sentence, so when you pick it up, you'll get the one sentence, but it's kind of out of context and you don't know what it means, so you don't want to collect all of them to get the full story. And the way I'm sort of writing it is 
uh, each page would be like in a children's book you'd have the sentence and then you'd have an illustration to go with it and then the next sentence would be on the next page we don't have the depending on how things play out like i don't know if we want to hire an illustrator there's like almost 400 pages that we'd need for which would be 400 oh, illustrations so probably not going to be in the game but we might be looking at that down the line as like oh hey this is maybe there's one or two really good ones that people like or maybe yeah, if we get enough funny, maybe Kickstarter stretch goal or something like that. Hey, I got a question. Sure. Yeah. Uh, if you're playing multiplayer and you pick up a page, who's going to get it? Oh, it's um, so much like the armory. It just kind of goes back to the village. Uh, so it's all shared between everybody. And, oh, so everybody's going to be getting those bonuses then? Uh, not exactly. So you only equip one of these at a time. So, like, you can equip the knock, one with the knockback bonus, or the one with the pierce bonus, or the one with the health bonus, but only one player can equip the health bonus one at a time. So what you're going to oh, want okay. to do is you, you can have four of them active at the same time, one for each player. Uh, but generally speaking, like, everything's shared, and then, like, you just, whichever one you have access to, you get that. And then if you want, cool. like, you might get a few the first time you go through, and then realize, oh, man, I really want to want to get all of the the ones that give bonus to health so i'm going to go through and and try and find them all in the uh in that world because they're all like localized to each world so all the ones that are babylonian are all in the babylonian one all the norse ones are in the norse one etc cetera, etc cetera. so and, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah so the the one and i've done a pass uh with yeah so I've done the first two worlds going into the third one and man diving in it's It'd be a lot easier if I could spend more time kind of uh, reacclimating myself and orienting myself. Because like I was saying about the character Enki and like, well, you don't know who he is and, and what his relation is to Inanna and any of the other gods. So I have to explain, I have to figure out what that is and then explain it to everybody. And I'm doing that. And I was joking with a friend who's actually from Scotland uh, today. It's like, I don't understand what any of these words mean because they're all in like old irish and gaelic and, <laughs> and i'm like okay <laughs> so that's because there's so, sometimes they use a name sometimes they use a title but they don't use like the, they won't say lord it'll be like the gaelic word for that and so i'm like it's just just deciphering this stuff but it's so it's over the next couple of weeks i'm going to be really doing a deep dive into all this and then finding some stories i can tell and there's there's certain things i want to hit like all of them like, the ones I've done so far, all of them are kind of part of the same story, but they're a bit episodic, so it's, like, a nice little story you can tell, but then it'll be a story of somebody else that gives you a slightly different perspective and make you understand their motivations a bit better. So. Is it also hard to understand because it was actually written kind of, like, in that Scottish, that old Scottish, you know, gibberish? Like, the... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I'm not actually reading it in Gaelic. Okay. All this, all the okay. research I'm doing has been like translated and updated. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, and something... someone with Irish ancestry, I take offense at that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and like something else I'm probably gonna have to do is uh, I'll do another pass and add some like rhyming schemes and stuff like that. Chop was saying they actually work pretty well as like children's, children's stories. Book, yeah. Uh, so, I, I just off topic. I just I kind of got into this thing where I started reading all of uh, my daughter's children's book as like a, a Will Smith rap, and she seems to like <laughs> way more. <laughs> oh, nice! <laughs> yeah, good night, That's moon. Good right night, there. room. Good night, cow jumping over the moon. I'm like just. That's inspired. Just had to do that right before he came downstairs. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and that's why I wanted Bjorn to write these all this rhyme so I could Will Smith rap them. So you could Will Smith them. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'll get yeah. Uh, I'll get rhyming dictionary. I'm sure won't be too hard. But I want to finish. It, it's it's going to be weird. Like we'll see how long it takes because it's taken me a little under a month. I said month. I wasn't working on this Christmas Day. It's the 25th right now. Yeah. Uh, but. It's going to be a little over, or about a few weeks, uh, and we'll see We'll see how it goes. Uh, Norse one was easier to acclimate myself, but still kind of difficult, like, and there's certain things I want to sort of clarify, like, 
one thing that uh, playing God of War I found a bit confusing was they kind of always talk about the Aesir and the Vanir, the two different gods, or the two different groups of gods, and I was always like unclear, like, what is the difference between these two? Why are they... Because it's just two made-up words that you're like, well, what what does that mean and what does that mean? And so something that, like, when I'm telling the, uh, the Norse stories, I make it very clear, like, it's a tribe of gods. And they're not really any... The only difference? There's There's no difference. They're the same species and everything. It's just... One's from this tribe, one's from this this tribe. One's from Edmonton, one's from Calgary. It's the only difference. That's right. <laughs> and same thing, even with, even I mean, with the giants. Jot- Jotun uh, is mistranslated into giant. They're the same species as the rest of the gods. Yeah. Yep, that tracks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, do you guys have any other questions about the stories? I don't want to go into too many details of, like, the stories have actually written and stuff like that. I just kind of wanted to talk about the process. How, how many tomes are there? There's 19 total. There's three in the first world, and then there's four in the other four worlds. So that adds up to 19. Wow, that's a lot. <laughs> yeah, and each one needs 20 sentences for a story. So that's 390 sentences I need to write. <laughs> I've, already done, I've already done seven of them. So, And then... I'm- can you give us some and do one book for cover for all of them? <laughs> yeah, it just has everybody. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. I was gonna say, can you give us a little hint on some of the abilities they might unlock? Uh, well, they de- they don't actually unlock abilities; they just add buffs. So, like, uh, like this one will give you extra percentage to health. Uh, you can see. Let's see if I can. So is that eyes. up to twenty percent? Yeah, uh, well, I'll, that's something I'll need to tune, is uh, I'll play test it and see. It'll probably be a, a decent bonus. Uh, and then we'll have to, like, play th- play around stuff, because it's like, okay, so th- that could say, let's say it's 20% health, and then this one gives you... What's another good example? Oh, this one gives you bonus to gold, and it's, it's stuff where it's like, I'll have to put it in and tweak it, so that, uh, like, if we balance the economy and stuff like that, like, this, like maybe it could be, maybe double gold is actually pretty good. And it's like, because if you get all 20, right, that should be a big bonus that you're getting. Mm-hmm. And maybe it's double. Maybe it's like, yeah, double experience, double health, double the item drops, double your chance of, of critting, stuff like that. But yeah, cool. it's something, it definitely feels like it should be something pretty big because to get all of them is going to be a big task because you don't know where they all are. It's not like, because when you go into a dungeon, you don't necessarily... If you have a strategy guide and you look it up online, like, they are consistent. But it's not like, oh, if you just go through all of these in this one area, they're, like, peppered throughout and randomized. Yeah. So it's going to be, by the it's time, going to be a huge task to get all of them. And I think by the time you get all the pages, it's probably going to be pretty close to the end game content. So it better yeah. be a big bonus. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. And then, yeah, it'll make sense, like, if you have up to four players, it'll... Uh, We'll have to make sure that each one of them has a decent amount of weight. So it's like, oh, yeah, well, or maybe you just put different things on, like in Diablo when you're going on different kinds of runs. Like, all right, I'm going to grind a bit. So you put on the, ex- one guy gets the experience one, one guy gets the uh, the uh, gold one, and then you're just grinding for a bit. And then it's like, okay, no, we're now we're going to go kill the big bad guy or something like that or do something really challenging. Okay, now we're going to go, all right, we do the health, we do the stamina, we do damage. So, yeah. Also, play style too, right? Like some people like mm-hmm. playing a certain way. Other people, if, if you've neglected your stamina, let's say, mm-hmm. but you don't want to respec. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> respec would be a lot easier than tracking down twenty tomes, twenty pages. Yeah, but you know. Yeah. <laughs> well, so I don't know if you recognize that. Well, you pre- nobody probably recognizes this. this. Actually, this book is just like a scaled table. But I just scaled it. I just scaled it and then put two of them back to back and then put one scaled one down slightly for the spine. And it's, uh, <laughs> the LODs on it are pretty messed up right now, so you can see it popping as it rotates. That's cool. Oh, looks more like a book than a table, so good job. Mm-hmm. Then what? Fable? Look, than a table. Than a table. It was oh, a table. table. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> the book Fable. Oh, wait, Fable. Fable had books? Oh, yeah. That's actually something <laughs> else I should 
Let's quit out. Because this is something we were talking about. Maybe Jacques, you could talk about it. The hair and the anisotropic. Anisotropicity? Oh, yeah. Anisotropic, yeah. So basically, people. Uh, hmm, how do we explain this? is completely okay, different so... art, uh, hair stuff we're talking about. Yeah, right so I, I didn't put it in when we when i made the hair but what happens is, is when hair fall i'll see if i can get oh, i got black hair it ain't working but when hair mm -hmm. falls on your head it my hair. Fall, a highlight is a ring it's not like usually for blin was what they call it 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 falls as a spot if you've got mm -hmm. like a like a ball like a plastic ball it falls as like a, a specular spot but for anisotropic it'll actually fall as a ring and that's what hair does because it kind of has like this the hair kind of uh, rips apart, I guess, the the specularity. And I can't even see it in that. You have yeah, to use no, dark hair. Yeah, there we go. You have to use like a, a, like a dark brown. Go for go for dark. Yeah. Put it in? Yeah, yeah. okay, it's sort of yeah. there. Yeah. I have to tweak it. But basically the... Um, <clears throat> yeah, so it should be like... That kind of looks like vinyl, though, because it's a little too mm -hmm. sharp. I'll have to tweak yeah. it afterwards. So uh, they they added that in, which is nice because mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I think they had cool. it in the previous shader, but it was very the previous shader kind of uh, it got think... rid of a lot of stuff that we were using. It's, it wasn't made for hair built like that. Yeah, I think because the thing. So the way I think because I saw like sort of a, an explanation of it, and if you could imagine like a bunch of like plastic cups or cones strung together, mm -hmm. uh, so like. Uh, when light comes at it one way, it's just bouncing off the side of the cone, and so it'll bounce off, like, sort of naturally like that. But if it comes at it the other way where it's hitting, like, the inside of the cup, then it bounces off in a weird direction. So it's not a flat surface, it's just light. When you look at it from one direction, light bounces off of it normally, but then if you switch to another direction, it doesn't bounce off the same way. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, we're, we'll have better looking hair soon. Yeah. When you get around to the tweaking it, it'll be the thing. Soon. It reminds me of actually is like a record. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there, there's all kinds of things that has anisotropic. I'm trying to think. Uh, vinyl is one. Uh, another mm. one would be. Crap! What's the name of that fabric? Satin. Satin has it. Satin. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 But the, I think the easiest example was. Do you guys remember in the '80s there was this like red Christmas ball ornament that was like strings. Mm -hmm. no what <laughs> yeah yeah oh actually, actually yeah i know what you're talking about yeah and then so you get yeah that, i think like, i think ring. i know yeah the highlight was a ring I'm trying to think mm -hmm. what else is there? okay yeah, yes it's, it's true sheet metal is another one uh same with uh i could i could post the etsy thing but yeah, anyway sheet metal is another mm -hmm. one same with uh or uh, brushed metal i would say not sheet metal brushed metal so those are the kind of things but hair has that because it has those really fine find uh, light capture it, it captures the light from every strand will capture the light kind of all the way around so you get a bit of it but yeah we'll, we'll work on it we'll get there yeah oh yeah i i think the other problem i have with a lot of hair uh I, i'd have to look into the shader i haven't looked at it yet but um there's a lot more complex lighting things so the problem with hair right now in video games is that it's hacked is that everything in the game is used as something called uh, PBR, which is like a physical-based rendering. Mm -hmm. um, hair, on the other hand, we kind of have to hack what it is. It's not a proper physical-based material. So we have to kind of fake the ring, then we have to kind of like, okay, well, actually, if you look at the picture, the, the ring actually has another color behind it, and then it's sort of like, we, we usually want two tones of rings if we have that control, and then it's sort of like, we also want subsurface scattering in there, which is light kind of penetrates into the hair and bounces around and kind of bounces back out so what that means is like god i don't know how to explain it has a bit of a translucent quality to it that's mm -hmm. the best way to describe it so uh you need believe it or not these are all things that are very heavy in calculations and i'm sure we'll probably have it in real time eventually i just don't think it's real time right now mm -mm. yeah but yeah we're getting there <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah because basically <laughs> you you kind of need to simulate like every strand of hair, which I I guess because that wasn't that isn't that sort of what Trez effects and because there were two there was an AMD solution for it and an yeah. Nvidia solution for it, right? But th those are those are like uh, those are like uh, what should we call it? 
those were particle effects, kind of, in a way. Oh, okay. uh, those were sort of like forward-facing billboards that mm -hmm. were always aligned to the camera, but then it's it's just sort of like you controlled it with a split. Yeah, okay. There, I there's a there's a, a G three talk. I mean, a GDC, GDC talk. talk. This with, yeah, we did some work on it, so it's cool. Yeah, but this this was for the Deus Ex and Tomb Raider stuff, so that was a, a while ago. And yeah, it's a little too heavy. I don't think it's supported Unreal yet, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like and the thing yeah. is too, like it's very uh, finicky, like with a lot of physics based stuff. Uh, yeah. Like working, at, like I worked on Tomb Raider, basically, her hair, like we just, like the, working on the physics, like throughout a lot of the game, like her hair would just kind of like bounce around, like off of her head. If she, if yeah. she, like, did, if she jumped in some weird way or jumped in or out of water and, like, certain situations, like, it took a lot of time polishing all of the edge cases and all the weird jitteriness to get that out of the physics based stuff. But it looked really good in the end. Yeah. Well, the other, the other thing to, to make it easier, I think it, it actually took a ridiculous amount of resources. I think it was like 200 milliseconds, like something really crazy. And, uh, it can't be 200 milliseconds. <laughs> My, it was over a hundred, I think. It was a lot. Uh, 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 it was pretty much like half. It was a lot of the frame rate was dedicated. A hundred, a hundred, a hundred milliseconds is a tenth of a frame. Is a tenth of a second. <laughs> so if it took a hundred milliseconds, that would only be running at ten frames a second max. Oh, over. <laughs> I'll have to look into it. It, it was yeah. really, really high, and, and it's it, something it, that they it, Like, I wouldn't be surprised if it took, time. like, a millisecond or something like that. Because the thing you have to keep in mind is, like, if you want a game to run at... Well, if you want a, want a game to run at 60 FPS, it has, you have 16 milliseconds, 16.6 milliseconds... 30 because of the hair. ...to do everything. Oh, okay, so 30... So, basically, like, if you want to run at 30, then everything has to be done within 33 milliseconds. So that's rendering your entire scene, doing all your physics simulation... Updating all of your AI for what your AI is supposed to be doing, uh, running all your gameplay logic, like, okay, do you need to spawn anything new or anything like that? Do you need to stream anything in or out? You stream in another level. So you have to do all of that in 30 milliseconds. So if something takes, like, a millisecond, that's a lot. That's a 30th of what you're doing if it's just the hair on the character. I think it was more than that. I'll, I'll have to look yeah. into it. I'll have to double check with the guys. Yeah, it's it, was, really it was a lot. Well, yeah. Uh, there was also the other problem with, like, uh, on top of, the, I think the first one was all jaggedy, and then mm -hmm. they put it on The Witcher, and it just looked like spaghetti. Like, it was like white spaghetti, <laughs> right? And, uh, what, what we did on Deus Ex was uh, we just removed a lot of the physics. Well, I, I don't think mm -hmm. we want to remove it, but we just toned it down, and we did a, a few mm -hmm. extra things to, we aggressively LOD'd it, I think, which helped a mm -hmm. lot. Because Adam oh, yeah, Jensen's hair was sort of like... It was a stiff up. <laughs> well, that's the thing. Is yeah. like, like on, a, on, a, on a person with short hair, like it doesn't need all that physics simulation. Like it could probably just be a helmet, yeah. or maybe just have a few um, bones animating it. Would you need physics? I, yeah, it was. It was lesser. It was fewer bones and fewer. Like, don't want to get all technical about this, but like basically used like a master slave system. Mm -hmm. So basically, there was like a master strand that kind of determined what the physics were, and then a clump of hairs would determine. Where, like where the clump would go so that was if that makes sense so the, uh, yeah, the I, bones were yeah it was i heavy. worked on the one major cinematic where jensen was jumping out of the uh, the airplane oh, and skydiving yeah, I, I did that i did and that one with you yeah <laughs> yeah yeah and the, his hair was uh, was freaking out as he falls that, that took a lot of iteration <laughs> but, and, uh, it no, turned out not too bad though yeah and we told like turn it down turn it down turn it down and i think there's special um i don't know if we're allowed to talk about this <laughs> there was like a special setting just for that cinematic because that was the only place where okay, the wind yeah. was gravity were that aggressive mm -hmm. yeah. basically we have to make it like, iron hard at that point because it's like that was the only thing i was going to like get a small jitter mm. and then yeah like, like, i think that was the only really extreme game. case in the whole game probably yeah yeah <laughs> yeah, jump it out of a plate. Pretty extreme, baby. <laughs> I, I, I think to make no it look like it was faster, they had to make him drop faster than it actually was. So oh, yeah. they actually just had to, yeah. And then they had they threw extra wind on that just to kind of get like the the cape or the the trench coat fluttering or whatever. And mm -hmm. I don't remember. Actually, yeah. I mean, for that particular cinematic, he wasn't. Uh, 
wearing the trench coat, but uh, I think he was for other ones because okay. he does a lot of those, those, those like slow fall, you know, that yeah. slow fall ability that he had that I don't yeah, remember like the name Icarus of. something? He falls yeah. a lot. Yeah, the, the Icarus drop. Yeah. <laughs> so that, that would need trench coat support for sure. It's the, uh, <laughs> the major Kusanagi landing. Yes. Three point that landing. Down landing, yeah. Except with like more laser beams and glowy balls and stuff. Yeah. I don't know if we're like Electric about electricity before. because reasons. <laughs> yeah. I mean you're anyway, basically so talking yeah, about what was in the yeah. game at this point. <laughs> How to make it. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. I guess there is a GDC yeah. talk, so <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> we'll just charge a hundred bucks for this this uh mm. Twitch stream and Sure. Yeah. I'm not playing. <laughs> Damn it! Sorry, I didn't mean to shut you all down with this confidential conversation. Uh, that's fine. <laughs> uh, no, it's, I'm sure it's fine. Yeah, I don't know. Do, I'm yeah, trying to. I'm just trying to think. Do we want to do anything more with the tomes or tomes? Uh, yeah. Well, I, I think some of the things that we could talk about is maybe like for the art for the tomes. I'd definitely like to do different covers and different mm -hmm. different things that I want to push and. It'd be nice if we could do common combine between like the the effect that it gives. So like obviously attack will just be like a sword, but it'd be nice oh, okay. if the sword could tie into the level that we or, have. Or, that or the character. Or, would, so would it yeah. just be sort of a material on the front, or would you want like okay, all the ones from uh, let's say the uh, Babylon world are like yeah. a certain like color or something like that or they have a theme and then their cover is just different or would you want like different I, I ones think, for each world I think the or pages, just the, the pages could be the same at the start mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. and then uh like if we have the time we'll make different pages but if like, oh no no well i wouldn't like we're not going to look inside but i'm just like imagining the cover like would all these pretty much be identical but uh, except for the cover no, I, I think yeah i think the, uh, the, the front covers page. the covers will be going to be they're going to all be unique i think Mm -hmm. all okay. well actually not just not just a texture swap but i think it'll a full model change would actually be nicer yeah because it's okay. 20 and do you want it for that one pretty easy do, to do, do right? you want like a stone tablet, stone tablet. <laughs> yeah oh no and for, so. for egypt you'd have hieroglyphs mm -hmm. <laughs> nah. <laughs> well probably just maybe, no yeah i mean if, if you if you have the, the budget for that like the whole reason we were doing this is because we, yeah. we originally was going to be statues but we didn't want to have to model all the different statues well, it wasn't just modeling the statues, it was actually modeling them coming apart and then modeling mm -hmm. them like, you know, each piece kind of looking like it's a standalone thing. I think mm -hmm. that was the big part of it. And then assembling oh, it together okay. and something else would be like, oh, well, how could we do that? Like, it'd be weird if you just got like a, a statue of a head and like, you know, mm -hmm. shoulders would be like, oh, maybe it'd be better if it was actually something from that world that was, you mm -hmm. know, that could break apart in those different ways. And then like, okay, well, this is going to be too much work. A yeah, because the thing is too, like if if you have yeah. twenty different chunks that the statue needs to break up into, like most of those aren't going to be identifiable in any way. It depends on what it was. Like uh, the way I'm thinking about it was, it would have been better if, like, let's suppose you had something. Uh, I mean, just off the top of my head, like a microscope. So then mm -hmm. you had like you know the the lens part, the lens cap, mm -hmm. you know, the protractor part. You have a stand. You could have little things, and you could like assemble it into a microscope. I Not like I think so, but it, the, but twenty is a re even even with something like a microscope. Like I think twenty pieces yeah. would be very difficult. Yeah. Ten is easier, yeah. but twenty, yeah, yeah, you're getting into sub pieces. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or you're gonna have a you bunch of the same ones where it's level. like you have to collect like five screws, <laughs> <and> <laughs> three different lenses. Yeah. yeah. And something yeah. like a microscope doesn't work if you have half the parts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> doesn't That's make true. any sense or getting no. a bonus. Well, how about I was just the microscope? Something out there. No, it probably you works better if you have all the parts. Possibly yeah, I mean, you, you, could have, you could have five pieces but. for the microscope and then 15 pieces for that are all just like petri dishes. Yeah. <laughs> jigsaw, jigsaw puzzle pieces would be fine too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, the tome, I think, works better when the tome is... Yeah, yeah. I, tome, I like, like the idea of the tome. Good sense, yeah. Yeah. And writing all the stories is going to be fun, if challenging. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. And, yeah, like, uh, basically, yeah, I think I w went into that already, but, like, uh, having them all 
Because, like, there's, like, if there's four, like, I just did the Norse one, so there's four different stories, four different characters. One of them is Odin, because you run into Odin, so you get, one of them is sort of his story, one of them is for Freya, one of them is for a couple other characters that are a bit lesser known, but they're all actually part of the same narrative. Mm-hmm. Uh, but each one is an individual story, and then, so if you read the first one, or if you, like, if you read them out of order, I don't know what order you could be. <laughs> you got it free, Phil. I don't know when you sent that message, but I just saw it. <laughs> <laughs> when you said you're gonna charge for the talk. Yeah, this okay. genius <laughs> talk to make behind all these Tress Effects games. Yeah. Yeah. Uh but yeah, so what was I saying? Uh so like yeah, you can read one and then it kind of if you read another one then it sort of explains other characters' motivations for why they were behaving a certain way in the other one, but also it's its own self contained story. Yeah. So. Cool. And I'll and I'll make them rhyme eventually. <laughs> <laughs> so I can wrap it like Will Smith. Mm-hmm. Ooh, I mean, I <laughs> yeah. I like fruity pebbles and I'm here to say. <laughs> Sounds like quality voice acting to me. Yeah. Oh yeah. Pop said no, but it did it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and I have, like a lot should, of them were just maybe like, you should work them. backwards. Start with a Will Smith song and turn it into a story. <laughs> that might be easier. <laughs> <laughs> just throw words that fit that cadence and the, that yeah. rhyming scheme. Yeah, so I the, could do, I could do the Scottish one. I'll just make it gibberish. <laughs> this is the secret gonna... to actual good storytelling. Is just. Can can Will Smith rap it? If he, if he can, then yes, yeah. it's a good story. Yeah. Hey, it worked for <laughs> Wild Wild West. Yeah, that was a great song and oh, a boy. horrible movie. <laughs> Wait, maybe it didn't work then. <laughs> I don't think the whole movie could be rapped. Yeah, I mean, he summed it up in the song pretty much, didn't he? I mean, I think so. <laughs> yeah. All I remember you could have about just stopped watching at that point. You know, I've never actually watched the movie. I just remember Kevin Smith talking about it, and it's like it sounds yeah. amazing. Yeah, yeah. Basically, you're waiting the whole movie for the song, and then it only happens at the very end, and then it's a disappointment. Or you just watch the music. Did you hear? Video. But did you hear what Kevin Smith said about the movie? We don't so want Kevin to go Smith? into that on stream. <laughs> okay. <laughs> stay on target, everybody. Stay on target. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. But yeah, I guess okay. Any other questions about the tomes? Otherwise, I'll just go on to the the other stuff. Um, not really. Yeah, okay. oh, something that uh, can you go a hundred percent at the first playthrough? Uh, well, yeah, but uh, you'll have to go back and revisit a bunch of places because some some places you'll only be able to get to when you have when you unlock abilities from later in the game. Okay, so they're actually in set locations, not like in a random dungeon it's not like a randomized uh, dungeon yeah yeah like if you go into a dungeon and get a tome if you come back to that dungeon it will already have been looted and there won't be anything at the end of it okay unless somebody else on the team who doesn't have it they get it uh well no because it's a shared pool so if somebody on the team has it and you join that game Mm -hmm. that you already Mm -hmm. have it oh okay swag yeah the in- the industry the uh, industry the inventory is global so like if if one character has it everybody has it and oh, it's nice. just the only way to do it is to equip it is to go back to the the village and, and select it mm-hmm. so if if just out of curiosity if you're like a level zero character you just join mm-hmm. but you you join your buddy's game who's like level mm-hmm. finish the game five times on new game plus mm-hmm. whatever and uh, do you automatically get everything uh I'm gonna put this. The thing is, it's not because the inventory isn't stored on the character; it's stored oh, okay. in the game. Oh, so okay. the new character will have access to everything, but oh. it's not like, yeah, because it's it's like if you're joining somebody else's game online, mm-hmm. then you'll get access to everything they have, and mm-hmm. anything you collect while there, you will have, mm-hmm. or. And I guess you wouldn't, like, let's say if you have your own game, and then you join somebody else's game, then you're helping them with their game, but you won't necessarily... Oh, okay. Any equipment you have, oh, you'll take back, but the tomes and stuff like that, you won't. 
Yeah, that's smart. That's a mm -hmm. proper way to do it. Yeah. I like that. All right, let's see here. So yeah, with undo. I don't know what I'm gonna do to test this. Maybe, like set some stuff <laughs> up. Let's add a fresh play. Like this. Uh, like these two together. Also added some stuff so that. Uh, just so this doesn't the control panel doesn't resize it just shrinks the text like you see it says link and then link doors it shrinks it down rather than like increasing the size of the box mm -hmm. yeah, is that so. pressure plate like humongous yes you can't like if you step on it nothing <laughs> happens you have to use uh, one of the big push blocks oh i see mm -hmm. so if i add a push block That thing doesn't even look like it's big enough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we have bigger push blocks in the main campaign. <laughs> but yeah, so now if I want, I can undo or redo. Yeah. Or redo. Cool. Nice. Yeah, and then nice. if you undo a bunch of stuff and then you make modifications, it resets the stack. So now if I redo, I can't. <laughs> that's That's all there is. <laughs> that makes sense, though. Yeah. Otherwise, you'd constantly be skipping back and forth. But yeah, I guess you hadn't seen the... Because we have some... Oh, I don't know if I have the big... Uh, let's see. The spin stuff. Because I made... For the main game, I made a big spin thing. That you have to be large... So that, oh yeah, I guess, so the thing is with the switch. Okay, now pressure play, the large one, okay. So there is, I don't have, you don't have access to it in the puzzle builder, which is why I don't have the large spin, but there's a, a thing you can get in the main game that will grow you to be super large. And oh, then cool. you'll be able to step on this. And there's another version of this spin thing that you can only spin if you're large. Right now, I'm the right uh, Maybe you should put that in the dungeon? Because then you wouldn't be able to get out. <laughs> Possibly. Let's see. Can so... you st yeah, can you stomp on that thing and do it? No, I can't. if I do the leap attack, that doesn't work. You have to, you have to get the big push block. Mm. See, I was looking at the hair. Oh wait, you can't see. Hold on. Let's go into Unreal. There we go. You can see I was looking at the hair stuff. Uh, so that's uh, like level gems. What else I did? Let's see. Yeah, it did some optimizations. I fixed some stuff with the portrait. I noticed, I don't know if everybody saw the GIF I posted about uh, the guy just getting clocked by the snowball. <laughs> but the thing is, yeah, like, the, yeah, that was awesome. The snow affects the player's portrait. 
<laughs> see, you see the player's portrait just gets covered in snow. Oh, that's and I awesome. fixed a, I fixed a little oh, bug with that yeah. where, uh, actually, yeah, we can look at that later. But yeah, so this is all the big stuff, and it's like, you can't affect it while you're small. Doesn't do anything. But if I go up, so I want to grow. And step on this. Get that switch. Wow. But also, oh, <laughs> I guess it's oh, pilot chambers. So yeah, How many times thing. bigger did it make you? Uh, made me well twice my height, twice my width, and twice my depth. So technically eight times big, but I'm just twice as tall. And there's also a shrink one where uh... I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Oh, so you maintain your speed. Uh, yeah, you even, I think you might even be going a bit faster. Uh, so for those shrimp things, you'd probably need like a ramp to climb out, right? Hmm? In case you, you probably need like for a what? ramp to climb out. Well, it's oh, yeah, yeah. Like I put right? a, I put a staircase on the inside or something. Yeah. Yeah. Case. Oh, and that's something else. So let's look at the shrimp one. Again, so now uh, you can see like the the cooldown on the uh, on the status effect. It's like slowly ticking down. Uh, oh yeah, it's a radial. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, makes it way easier to read. We already we already went over the diamond guy, right? Yeah. <laughs> what? Why am I hitting him? Why am I damaging him? I shouldn't be damaging him. Oh, he just killed me in one hit. I'm gonna have to look into that because I was. Oh, there the we go. Tiny bullets get through his diamond skin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they killed me again. Oh man, he is aggressive. Yeah. Oh, something's going on. His armor isn't set up properly. Oh boy. Oh, and I added shadows to the bottom of the projectiles so you can line yourself up with them better. Is it, this oh is god, the oh shit. Yeah, you have to deflect multiple times in order to uh, oh, interesting. hit him. Oh, that's really tough. That's tough. Yeah. Yeah. I always get knocked on that second one. Oof. Yeah, that's like a mini boss. <laughs> yeah. Ouch. Man, he shoots two? That's rough. Yeah. That's hardcore. Boom, got him. Oh, oh no, let's find another one. That's <laughs> 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 <Nuts> to this. <laughs> yeah. Uh... yeah, so let's go. Go to Drake's Reach, and then I'll head to the map and then get oh. clocked by the snowball. Oh, never mind. Oh, uh, what were you going to say? I was going to say, what happens if you get two of those status effects at once uh you can't so okay. like if you if you get the big one you become immune to the small one and vice versa okay yeah just to like yeah and like right now in the main game like the, the big one only occurs in one world the small one only occurs in another one so you can't really get both at the same time actually you might mm, yeah actually you could because I think there's a pickup you can get that uh, will one of the consumables you can get. Because we went through and we added all the consumables or effects for all the consumables. Am I? Wow, I'm starting a new game. I should not be starting a new game. Let's do. Uh... But uh, there should be all the when you unlock all the consumables. Uh, basically, what happens is I'll just say. So, um, uh, once you unlock the consumable shop, there's, like, I think there's one that turns you, basically a lot of the special stuff I was doing, so there's one that will shrink all your enemies, and it's just a powerful one-off use. You buy it for, like, a few thousand gold from the consumable shop, then you can use it in a combat. Uh, there's one that makes you grow really big, there's one that turns, I think, turns you into a water enemy, one that turns you into a fire guy, one that turns you into, uh, 
a diamond or stone guy. I can't remember all of them off the top of my head. Oh, cool. But yeah. Nice. You turn to the T-1000? Uh, yeah, metal. So, oof. Do it, does it make turn to anybody? <laughs> Let's see, because I think, well, I think that's already it. I just used the same material we have on all the puzzle elements. <laughs> what? So you, like, what? So you could go underwater? Oh, no. <laughs> well, if you go underwater, then you rust. Because <laughs> <laughs> it behaves the same way as the enemy one. <laughs> Let's see. All right, so this one makes you grow large. This one turns you into a water elemental. This one gives you unlimited stamina. This one turns you to diamond. This one shrinks all the enemies. This one turns you into metal. And this one turns you into fire. What's... what's Lewin? Lewin? Mm -hmm. Oh. That is a spear. You can see it uh, down... oh. Yeah, no, you can see it. Uh, so, down in the bottom right, poison spear from the King of Persia. Basically, those are uh, mm -hmm. the items, like, see, and this guy will tell you about how they got them, because basically these guys were on a quest similar to uh, the 12 Labors of Hercules, so like, they'll lend you the seven items that they collect, seven of the items that they collect, borrow from them for a price. Yeah, did we cover that at the start of the stream? Like I said, like it takes me four hours to speed run through the game, I think. Then it took Jock was like at eight hours. Yeah, we talked about that already. Yeah. yeah, but you know where everything is and what everything will do and Phil, have yeah. you played through the game yet? Not the entire thing. Yeah. How long well, no, that's take that's why I say because were... like people keep asking me like how long does it take to play the game and i'm like well it takes i didn't even know how long it took me until i added in a timestamp so that i could track it because it'd be like well it's taken me several days oh we got eli's music in here now it's just in yeah eli integrated a bunch of his music so i'll probably finish this a little faster because this is the one i've been playing a lot of hmm? oh yeah this is the one more. I played a lot of because I thought we were all. Well, I did a bit more work on this one. So. Oh, we got some wind up here. Nice. Yeah, we've got, got audio coming in. Ooh. Nice. <laughs> Yeah, I haven't spent any of my points. <laughs> Terrible aim. It's some crazy attack animations the owl has. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's got a crossbow and he swings it at you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Ooh, there might be something wrong with the nav mesh in here. These guys aren't moving around. Cool. I'm watching the video on the stream, and there's a five second delay between the dialogue that you guys are saying and, uh, and, uh, yeah, and yeah. what I'm seeing. So. Yeah, that's just a Twitch thing. Yeah. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah, there's going to be a long delay here between when I get hit and then when you... <laughs> here we go. Oh. Oh, that actually sounds pretty good with all the uh, audio for, like, the rumbling of the rolling stuff. <laughs> um, maybe I should switch my audio so I can hear it. Yeah, yeah. Well, I also haven't put any anything into health right now, so no.
is very cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm and pretty, we, I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. The mm-hmm. only thing I, I gotta say is every time something's added, I keep mm-hmm. thinking, "Oh my god, I really want to get to making that." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, your contract. Wait. Okay, so we can't say much about your contract, but I can't remember. Does it end this week or did they extend it to yeah. next week? No, no, it ends this week. They, it ends this week. Uh, All right. Go to next week, but yeah. They, uh... So, so Wednesday is. Oh, <laughs> what am I doing up here? Great. <laughs> what are you doing? What the? I don't know. I gotta look at that. Secret way. It's the secret path. Yeah. It is a secret path. <laughs> oh yeah. Let's go down. That's a speedrunner's trick right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> go in and out the door, and you get the chest right away. Whoa. Mm-hmm. <laughs> don't have to dodge the snowballs. Oh yeah, like something. Like if I look at navigation. Yep, no navigation. I'll have to take a look at that. It's because it's all down there. It's not up here. Uh, you know, they're just shivering, man. It's really cold. Yeah. Ow! I don't have to worry about snowball. Ow! Oh, God. Those snowballs they- are fast. Yeah, and then there's uh, like a secret area back here. Are there any enemies that get hit by snowballs? Oh yeah, yeah. You actually kind of control. Oh, God damn. Oh, yeah, that's and right you can see my. Oh yeah, did that. you guys see my portrait? <laughs> I got hit. <laughs> I got a quick look. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> there, you can see my portrait. Blue. In there. Uh, oh. Chattering. Oh, I see it. Nice. Mm-hmm. It'd be nice to get like a chattering animation. Oh man, this might be difficult because if the nav mesh isn't working at the higher higher areas, might cause some issues. Mm-hmm. But I can check. It's basically yeah. It there's an area up here week, where. Though, wasn't it? Hmm. It was working last week. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm sure it's some minor thing. It's just not generating. Oh, All it's right, working up so. here. Yeah, oh, yeah, it is, yeah. Okay, right, so I use this to get the treasure chest. And then if I wait for the wind to switch directions. Oh. Yes. Or I think I just nice. leave it and it just it will just constantly be spawning now. Nice. Oh, you just have to turn it on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll, I'm gonna I'll I'll redo it so it's like a gate that you open or something. Yeah, the knowing which way the wind is blowing by the snow is cool, but I think you have to teach the player that. Yeah. Well, I don't think you need to teach the player that. What are those two that, owls you... doing? Are they? Hmm? Are they healing? Healing? Or oh, they have hearts. Yeah, yeah. I was just wondering what the icons were. Oh, Maybe they were making uh, out? I don't know. Because right now there's a generic... Okay, yeah. The, uh, uh, basically, that's a that's one of the musicians. They they have an instrument that they play, oh, and that instrument gives a buff to everybody. I'm not sure what the owl is. I have to do, I'll have to do a pass on those to make sure they all sort of make sense. Or they all give some actual thing that you can tell. It's like, if I can't tell what the actual bonus is, then... Probably not. Not really doing its job because basically, it should be a bonus, and so then you incentive you're incentivized to like take out the musician so that because he's buffing all the guys and making. Yeah, yeah. That's. I mean, final art will we'll fix that. Probably the the hard icon is probably not the best the choice. Just yeah, yeah. What that probably might signify. The TFT yeah, it's a placeholder. Where you get the, where you get the, where you get the, I think. Sorry, I think yeah, I can sure. barely hear you. So I think I gotta turn down the. Uh, there, that should be better. Sorry, say, say that again, Jack. TF2 medic thing where you have like a red beam with the uh, the plus symbols going through. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, like, I mean, that's the very obvious one. 
Yeah. We'll figure something out. Yeah, yeah. Well, the thing is, like, because they're might like all the buffs are different, right? Like, it might not be like health. It might be like oh, attack speed or movement speed or something. Mm -hmm. Funny because like they, they have these really obscure ones in Diablo 2, but once you kind of got used to it, you just you accepted it. Like there was one yeah. called Fixism, there was like this red glowing waving aura around around everyone. And then yeah. after a while, like you play through it once, you see that you run. <laughs> and then yeah. you see everyone like the <laughs> yeah, electric exactly. one, and, like yeah. You see that, it's like I can take this guy. And, like there's other ones that make him fast and you know, Yeah, and some of them are more obvious than others. But like once you see it once or twice, then you kind of start getting it. And you just learn when yeah. to, to run away or whatnot, even mm -hmm. if it was a bit confusing the first time. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. The crash. No, probably compiling no. or something. Like I'm running it from the editor, so it's probably just compiling oh. or something. But, yeah, uh, we're coming up in an hour here, so. It's very cool. Yeah, Every time I watch the stream, there's a whole bunch of new kind of exotic gameplay alterations. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's really fun to play, by the way. Yeah. I got to play the whole thing through. I still haven't done it. <laughs> cool. Yeah, let me know, because there should be a timestamp. Let me know how long it takes you to get, like, either through the whole thing or just to get to whatever stage you're at. Uh, like. Finish, beat the first boss okay. or second boss, whatever. All of the above. So, yeah, sure. So I'm just very curious okay. about how long it takes. Because, like, Jacques was saying, like, he goes into every dungeon and he's going, he's like grinding as much as he can and going into every dungeon and exploring every nook and cranny. So, but also, it took me a while to solve a few of the puzzles. Like, it, it took me, mm -hmm. like, one of them took me, like, at least half an hour. Oh, yeah. Because I didn't okay. quite know where stuff, yeah, like, I mean, some of them were I'd never done before, so they were they were brand new uh, to me. I had to figure out. Yeah, I think there was one that I had to like make it like flick on the black switch and run back, do it. Oh, I did it wrong, and then the boulder fell and it went in the wrong spot. And I'm like, okay, I got to put on white and then do the boulder and then back. Oh no, that's also wrong. And then uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the second boulder first. And then cool. the first, yeah, it, it takes a while to solve. But yeah, like, I'm looking forward to trying this. There's so much has been added. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, and basically all we got to do is polish now. There's still actually mm -hmm. definitely like World Three, or no? Uh, yeah, I think the last last little bit of the game there's a decent amount of polish to put in there uh, and mm -hmm. really nail down what the boss fight's gonna be in the last world because it's it's there the bones of it are there but it's not fun and it's not this the right kind of puzzle and combat combination that we want for a boss fight so yeah it's a hard thing to get right mm -hmm. yeah takes some iterating oh for sure for sure okay well i think we'll call it for the stream good night everybody awesome. thanks for joining us good night. all right night yeah thank you